Tbilisi is the vibrant beating heart of Georgia, a one-time Silk Road capital. This sprawling city of 1.1 million is as eclectic as its dynamic. The Bridge of Peace stretches 150 meters over Kura River, linking the Rika Park, an old town in central Tbilisi, and it's one of the most well-recognized landmarks of the capital. The structure of the bridge was built in Italy and transported to Tbilisi in 200 trucks. Rika Park is one of the most artistically appointed parks in the heart of the city. If seen from a bird's eye view, it creates a large-scale map of Georgia, as well as the meandering pathways from the borders depict various regions of the country. The cable car takes visitors from the park over the Kura River and Old Town, as well as up to Nerikala Fortress. The cable car ticket cost is 4 lari, which is about 1 euro 25 cents. The cable car ends up at Salalaki Hill, where a 20 meters aluminium statue of Mother Georgia was erected in 1958 to celebrate 1500 Belize's anniversary. Narikala Fortress is one of the oldest structures in Belize and it's a city icon. Established in the 4th century, Narikala was originally a Persian citadel and mostly was used for defense purposes and in wars. The ancient Abanatubani district sits below the imposing Narikala fortress, the brick domed rooftops of the Salsa Pass, bubbling up like the water itself. But I'm going to talk about it a bit later. Across the tiny bridge next to the bus and following the springs that flow between a mini canyon, it's a bit an odd geographical feature, made stranger by the fact that it steps away from the old town. It culminates at Lekta Heavy Waterfall, 22 meters high, with a name translated from Georgian as Gorge of Figs, that there are plenty in this area. Old Belisi is a labyrinth of architectural delights. Narrow winding street with colorful houses covered with grapevines, full of special Belisi spirit, an authentic old world charm. I spent many days wandering the neighborhoods and walking streets, exploring from landmarks to Soviet era apartment blocks, from markets to private yards. You never get bored in this buzzing and peaceful, and yet bright and diverse city. Are you ready? Now is the most interesting part – wine tasting. Georgia is the oldest winemaking country in the world, with a tradition dating back at least 8,000 years. 
Don't expect to find too many Merlots and Chardonnays here, though. While those varietals are used in some wines, the focus in Georgia is on crepes indigenous to the country, bold Seperavia and ancient Lercazzitelli. Also, just because Georgia is typically built as a budget-friendly destination, doesn't mean the wine is cheap. It knows it's good and it's priced accordingly. Natural wines in Georgia usually cost between 15 to 25 euros per bottle. Georgians say, warmer toes, warmer hearts. Carpets from Caucasus region have geometric designs and bold colors, typically red, brown, blue and yellow. There are plenty of small local shops in the old town, where you can snap up a genuine antique or modern carpet for your home. Churchella is a traditional Georgian candy with the main ingredients, grape mass, nuts and flour, threaded onto a string and dipped in the thickened grape juice. Do you remember this place earlier at the daytime? Here we go, sulfur baths. Thermal springs are the foundation of Tbilisi. The water that comes from the springs contains sulfur and it's approximately 40-50 degrees. There are a variety of private rooms in the Tbilisi bathhouses with different prices, standards and sizes. Our room costed 90 lari, including scrap lady for two. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.